Would you like to know how to make beautiful designs like these in Design Space? Here's how. Okay, the first thing we need is a tag shape. So we go to shapes and if you don't have Cricut Access, take an octagon and a square and then move your octagon to the top left corner of your canvas and place the square underneath it pushed up against the left side of the canvas and um, go across to your Y position tool and pop in 1.25 there. That will nicely line it up and then you can highlight them, check that they are aligned to center horizontally and then go down to combine and choose weld. That gives you a tag shape and you just need a hole. So take a circle, change that to 0.25 and I find it easy to change the color so I can see where I'm putting it and pop it just under about an eighth of an inch from the top, align center horizontally and then subtract or if you want you can do slice and then you've got your circle for another tag. Okay, there's a tag there. Now, if you do have Cricut Access, you can choose, there's a couple of tag shapes here, possibly more if you search, but I'm just gonna go for this one. And I'm gonna change that width to two, which gives us a height of about 3.4. And that gives us a nice size tag. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is give this, um, I think it's called an inverted, offset so we're going to give it an offset of minus 0 0.15 and then when we've done that highlight both pieces go down to combine and select subtract okay so we've got our frame the next thing i want to do is put a um, a ring here for a hole so we're going to take a shape change that to 0 0.5 and give that, um, is it inverted <laughs> offset? I don't know if I've just made that up, um, of 0 point, minus 0 0.1 and highlight both pieces and then we're going to subtract the in inverted offset from the outside piece. Um, now we need to place it at the top of our tag where it overlaps um, slightly and I'm going to check that it's centrally aligned horizontally and then I'm going to go down and unite it. I'm only uniting at the moment in case I want to tweak things and move them around. Once I'm happy with the positioning then I'll weld it all together. Okay so now I'm going to go and choose an image. So I'm going to look for um, a flower image. And first of all, I'm going to see if there's anything in free. Just because I like to make designs for people um, to be able to make themselves, if they, even if they don't have Cricut access. So I like this one because it's an outline and it's all joined together. So that's going to work really well. Um, I also like the angle that it's, at, that it's at because I think that's going to work well in a corner of a tag. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go for that one and add it to the canvas. Um, I'm going to resize it. Okay, I think I like that position. Okay. So once you're happy with the position, you're going to size it to the size you want it to be. When you're happy with the size, select all and unite. Again, I'm choosing unite in case I want to move it around. Now I'm going to go down to contour and um, get rid of any little tiny holes um, <clears throat> that could cause a problem with cutting or that just won't look nice. But I need to merge the layers to use the contour tool. So I'm going to duplicate it so I've got a spare just in case. Um, and then I'm going to merge the layers and then go down to contour. In contour, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the side panel where the smallest pieces are going to be. And I'm just going to click on the pieces I think will cause, could cause problems with cutting. So that's the first design. And if you wanted to create a, another layer to it, a solid background layer so that you could write on it, then you would need to duplicate it. Then go down to the contour tool and select hide all contours 
um, but then click on the hole at the top because you want to keep the hole um, to put string or ribbon through. And I'm going to change the colour to white to match the colour card I'm going to use. But if you wanted to incorporate a writing space on the actual card itself, then here's another way you can do that. Duplicate the merged layered tag again and go back down into the contour tool and click on this large piece. And that means that only the flower has been cut out from the tag now, which leaves lots of space for writing. Another idea is to weld a name to the tag frame to personalize it. So you're going to need a text box and you're going to need to choose a font. Cricut Access have a lot of choice or you might have a lot of choice in your system fonts. These are fonts installed on your device. Um, I'm going to choose one that I've bookmarked as a favorite. BFC flannel shirt is a personal favorite of mine. It's a Cricut Access font. I like it because it can be easily joined up into one piece and welded to the tag. Now that you've found your font, you'll want to type in the name that you want to use. And if any letters need to be joined up, you'll need to ungroup them. So I need to move my S across to join to the A. The rest of the letters are all nicely joined, so they don't need to be moved. When your letters are in position, select them all, go down to Combine and choose Unite. I recommend using Unite because it means you can go back and tweak if needed. Now you just need to position the name over the top of the tag. Um, making sure that it overlaps on the two side edges. Um, for a bit more security, I quite like to overlap it to um, the top edge as well, um, or perhaps to the edge of the flower. I'm going for the top because I like that position. Once it's in position, select all, go down to combine and select unite. That's three of the designs. For our final design, we're going to need another tag from Shapes. And we're also going to need a square from Shapes. You're going to want to resize your square. I find that 1.8 by 1.8 inches works well. And place your square at the bottom of the tag, leaving a border at the bottom on the two sides of approximately an eighth of an inch. Highlight the tag and the square, align center horizontally and then go down to combine and choose subtract. And now you need a hole, so grab your slice circle from earlier, place it at the top of your tag about an eighth of an inch from the top, align center horizontally, go down to combine and subtract. Finally, we need a lily. So the best way to do this is to um, select the first tag that we designed, and then it will be highlighted in the panel on the right. And from the layers, click on the lily, and then duplicate it. Then place the lily over the bottom of the tag. When you're happy with the position, unite. Again, you're going to want to get rid of any tiny little holes that could cause cutting problems. So I would duplicate it so that you've got it for just in case. Move the duplicate to side, then select the tag, go down to combine and click merge. And then go to contour, scroll down to the bottom of the panel on the right and click on the tiny little pieces. And that's our fourth and final tag completed. Now it's time for a test cut to make sure the designs work. I was happy with my test results, so I went ahead and cut on my prettier cardstock. You'll want to take care lifting your tags off of the mat as they might easily damage, um, particularly if you're using a lighter cardstock. I prefer to use the heavyweight cardstocks like the Cricut Craft Board um, because they're less likely to get damaged. I hope you enjoy making your own designs. I'd love to hear how you get on. Also, if you could let me know whether you found this video too fast paced or too slow, that would be great. Thanks. Bye-bye for now.